Este Iván Calderón, campeón de ustedes, 108 libras, indiscutible. Y me ven a través de boricoboxing.com. I try to entertain, I try to entertain, and I feel like us as boxers, we're entertainers, and we should give y'all your money's worth, so it's coming Saturday, you're just going to see a show from me. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's truly a, a remarkable experience, um, this is a chance of a lifetime. I would like to take the opportunity to thank Mr. Brad Goodwin. Uh, Bob Aaron and uh, Mr. Steve Basley for this uh, chance of a lifetime. I, I know not why uh, my Lord Master Jehovah God made me a fighter, but um, uh, I, I, I don't know why I'm not an actor or a model. Brad Pitt and uh, Tom Cruise, uh, they're not half the man that I am. But anyway, um, basically, you know, this is a, a wonderful experience. And that, uh, you know, it's, it's been actually over 16 years in the making. I come from uh, Yonkers, New York, and uh, for 16 years I've been running the streets, punching, uh, throwing punches in the air, and uh, I have arrived, and I hope that this will be a relationship with Bob Arum that will be uh, a good one, uh, depending upon our negotiating uh, relationship. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you very much, and uh, God bless. Good afternoon. This is Don Saturday. is going to be a Something I've always dreamed of fighting in, in Madison Square Garden. I'd like to thank um, Bob Aaron for the opportunity, uh, my promoter. Uh, and I just hope that todos ustedes me, pues me, me, me respalden y vamos a darle máximo siempre para salir la iglesia en serio. Gracias. Good afternoon. Um, for me, it's a pleasure fight in the Madison Square Garden is a dream come true like my brother said and being on the same card as, as our Puerto Rican champion Ivan Calderon for me is in, is another uh, motivation and I'm very happy and once again a todos los boricos estoy muy contento espero que me vean igual de máximo energía gracias please welcome Jesus Arepe Gracias por darme que ahora la verdad se jugaron por darme esta oportunidad y, y si no pues no más que yo vengo a ganar y, y pues espero que el Calderón no corra. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to fight. Uh, he hopes that Calderón won't run. He's coming to put on a good show. Yo todo siempre soy un peor de pocas palabras. Me gusta mostrar el ritmo que estoy y yo siempre de pocas palabras todo. Gracias. A little words and uh, he's happy to be at this venue and he will produce. Thank you. As I told you before, um, Ivan is one of the great champions on the island, two-time world champion, 105, 108. He already has um, 18 titles defense, so that's why many people believe that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Um, with you, I'm um, going to introduce you, Ivan Iron Boy Calderon. Because they can't be. So I mean, he said in the last fight, he only had one fight, one hand. 
I believe he could have, he gonna have to have like three or four hands to hit me this time. And, and I'm gonna do my thing, I'm gonna do my job, hands on the air, I'm gonna to happen the, the last time, try to, uh, try to do a fight that I never know, I never do, and, you know, trying to go to body to body, that I have, but, so I'm gonna do what I, everybody likes to see me, see me do, box, hit and don't get hit, and like Bob, I would say, he, he always likes to see me do what I know I do, box real cute, and in Spanish, eh, buenas tardes a toda la prensa, eh, yo creo que, como dijo mi retador, vino a ganar, todo el mundo viene a ganar una pelea, eh, y si no tenía nada, y si peleó la última pelea con una mano, aquí iba a tener que tener tres o cuatro manos para pelear conmigo, eh, y como él dice, que Iván Calderón corre, siempre lo he oído de todos mis oponentes, de que Iván Calderón corre, no es que yo corra, es que le preocupa mi estilo de boxeo, porque estoy y no me dan, y si necesita entonces un cambio, un día, un momento, pues lo hago, pero no va a ser el mismo, la misma equivocación que hice en la última pelea, que me paré a pelear, que cogí un cabezazo y se acabó la pelea por, por cortadura, pues no hace mi trabajo tal que no me den, que no le guste, porque no la vea, eh, pero esperamos que, que el pueblo de Puerto, eh, los fanática, la fanática de la puertorriqueña esté ahí apoyándome como siempre lo hace, lo esperamos el día 12, ahí en el Madison Square Garden dándome ese apoyo, que les seguro que seguimos con la victoria, seguimos detrás de Miguel Coto celebrando cuando llegamos a Puerto Rico y aquí en, 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 en la parada estaremos ahí disfrutando y seguirá siendo campeón por buen rato, a la edad de 35 años. Gracias. Hey, Ivan Calderon here in Madison Square Garden. Ivan, your thoughts on Saturday's fight? Ah, uh, like I always say, every fight is is different. I know there's gonna be a different fight. I know people maybe see it's gonna be an easy fight because just saw him like skinny, you no know, dressing you know, all, you know, like the way he should dress for comfort. But I believe that it's part of the job. Somebody thinks, make me think that it's gonna be an easy fight. And I know it's gonna be a hard fight. I gotta do what I always do. Box, try to don't get hit, and do what the people let like you see. A lot of, a lot of action. I spoke with Uribe. He believes that he's gonna knock you out. What's so hard about your style of fighting that these guys can't get you out of there? That they can't hit me. And what is it? I don't know. I think it's my style. I don't give them the good spot to give me the good punch. They every time they hit me, the punches always come halfway what they want to to hit. And I believe I've been hearing this since my 34 fights. All 34, that they're gonna knock me out they, because I don't got a punch, I don't got this. And when I say, all right, you could say whatever you, you say. The thing is, do it at the day of the fight. And when they see a boxing moving round right around, they frustrated, they get frustrated. They don't even know what to do. It seems that at 35 fights, you're still one step ahead of all your fighters. They can't catch up with you. You know, what is it about your style that, that um, that up to this age, at age 35, that you can still do it. You still motivate to do this. The, the energy, the motivation, uh, see my my friends, Miguel Coro, Juan. I keep on winning. I gotta keep on winning too. I can't stay in the back, and you know, and giving me the opportunity to show the uh, the people. HBO and the Showtime and the Puerto Rican fans that Ivan Calderon maybe don't got the power punch but he got the best boxing that you can see in this right now. Well, I'm in agreement with that. I I always saw and I tell this to everybody that I think that stylistically you're one of the best, if not the best boxer out there. You know, um, what do we, what can we expect on Saturday? On Saturday, you may be going to see a lot of a lot of movement. Maybe if I could see, I could stand out, fight for a little while, I do it. But first, I'm gonna study my first rounds or second round, and then from now on, I do. I know what I'm gonna do: fight or, or box. How do you, how do you feel fighting on the eve of the Puerto Rican parade? I feel real good. Uh, this is my second time doing it. Uh, I believe a little bit more because I'm gonna be the main event this time. But I don't got no pressure on. Uh, it's like something normal doing a fight. Like if I was the second fight at the at the event, it's something that. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that day because I've already been in that territory when I was an amateur in, in the Golden Gloves. So it's not it's not going to be something new for me there. Right. Le quiere mandar un saludo. You want to send a, a special hello to all your fans at boricuaboxing.com? Yeah, a todos los puertorriqueños allá que están pendientes de Iván Calderón, que siempre me sigan dando el apoyo como lo están dando. Los, los espero ese día a través de la pantalla, si no ahí en el Madison Square Garden, si no ahí en la parada o en Puerto Rico. Los esperamos a todos. Los quiero mucho y gracias.